Hey, what's going on there, Lunker Hunters? It's Fishing with Jamie here, and I've got an exciting video for you guys here today. Why is that? Because I've got the May 2016 Mystery Tackle Box, and we're about to un open up this, uh, this great here prize. Um, here we go. I'm going to grab my little trusty knife, and we're all going to see this here for the first time together. All right, I really love this day of the month. And let's jump right on in. All right, here we go. So, uh, we're gonna go with the biggest, uh, the biggest guy here first, and this is pretty cool. So, here we go with a Lucky Craft Splash Tail. Lucky Craft Splash Tail. If you're looking at this, this is going to be a floating lure sitting on the on top of the water, and there's two propellers. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, so there's a propeller at the bottom, a propeller at the nose there, and while in your, you're in your retrieve, this is going to splash up some water and hopefully get some of those bass that are sitting there um, to get up and create some great top water action for you guys out on the lakes. Now the second thing that we have here is a Siebel Action First Bull Crank. It looks like this is going to be in a shad color. And uh, this guy, it's a six to 10 foot, Let's see if it'll focus on there. So it's gonna dive down to six to 10 feet. So more of a, a shallower sort of uh, crankbait here and um, it has this cool little open up thing so yeah definitely cool it's going to give you a little quick diagram how to fish it in the event that you weren't exactly sure how to fish these guys and as I'm reading here on the back as well this is silent so we're going to kind of cover that up if I shake it there's no rattlers inside so, you know, when you have those fish that are up close to, to a bank in shallow, maybe they spook pretty easily. They've seen that a boat's around or, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, you don't have to fear when throwing this because it doesn't give that rattle. It doesn't give that noise. And any bass that might normally be spooked uh, when you're tossing something in and those rattles kind of freaking them out a little bit, that's not going to happen with this one. It's more of a uh, sleuthy sort of bait. Um, so cool. Definitely something else to have in your arsenal to toss out against those bass that perhaps they are a little bit spooked out there. Um, here we go here again, and we're going, we have some pen hooks, penetration hooks, uh, flipping hooks. Um, we have two of them here in the package. Uh, so this is, these are going to be good to hook up when uh, you have your, your frogs or large craw, um, beaver tails, things like that. Let's go ahead and open this up, see if we can show you one. And um, they're, they're pretty dramatic. So if we bring that up there, see there's a big dramatic um, angle off of it coming down into the hook. So, you know, definitely use that for for flipping any of your creature plastic baits out there. Um, pretty excited to go ahead and use that. Moving along, we have the Savage Gear stick worms are like Senko-like baits. Um, baits like this work. Um, you know, your stick baits, these are like a green punk, um, well, they call it a baby bass color. Um, but, uh, you know, hook these up wacky style, Texas rig, Carolina rig, weightless, um, drop shot, you know, however you want to hook these things up. They are going to work. They're going to catch fish. Um, and definitely excited to add a couple more of those to my repertoire. And it looks like the last bait in this is going to be these bass... Munitions, bass munitions. 
Um, these are a longer worm, again, in a green color. Um, uh, is that bacon? They're scented. I'm not exactly sure what that scent is. Um, but uh, a longer worm. Uh, doesn't tell me how long on here, but uh, we're going to go with a good uh, maybe seven inches, maybe a little bit longer, um, seven and a half, but a longer worm, thicker tail, it has a soft side. What I'll probably do on something like this is bite a little bit of the head off on that, toss it on a rugby style head or like a shaky head, toss it down and really hopefully get a lot of that fluttering from the tail end and get that action to get bass up to bite. But that is your May 2016 Mystery Tackle Box. Um, this is Fishing with Jamie. I'm going to take this right out, out onto the lake and we're going to go ahead and do an MTB slam and hopefully catch fish with all one, two, three, four, five, five baits. See you out on the lakes. Peace.